I'ma be under the mistletoe So today's video is going to be a recreation of a look that I did last Christmas. I called this my mistletoe makeup look because I tied in the green and the red together and at first it looks kind of scary and overwhelming but then when you put the red lip on it really finishes it and I think it's really nice for the holidays. And yeah, I actually did last year a lighter color in my crease. It was more of a gray than a black, but I wanted to smoke it up this year. But I used the Naked Smoky palette, and obviously this is just how I did the tutorial, and I hope that you guys take from this just some creativity and get some ideas from it. You don't obviously have to do exactly the same or have the exact same products. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so the first thing we're going to do is moisturize our face with our Clean and Clear Dual Moisturizer. I love Clean and Clear and this is one of my favorite moisturizers. And then the next thing we're going to do is take some scotch tape and put it on the back of our hand to just get rid of some of the stickiness. And we're going to be placing this on the outside corners of our eyes, pretty much lining it up to the ends of our eyebrow. You just want to make sure that you get them even on both sides. And then we are going to be taking an Avon Stick Concealer and patting that all over our eyelids. This is going to act as a primer for our eyeshadow and also cover any veins or redness that you may have. Now taking the Naked Smoky palette, I'm going to be going in with the color 13 and just setting our eyelids with that. It's just a nice white color, uh, well more of like a cream color and it doesn't have any shimmer to it so that's good. And then I'm going in with the color Password and just lightly dusting that into our crease. Next I'm taking the NYX Primal Color in the color Hot Green on a flat shader brush and I am going to be patting this onto our eyelids a couple times actually just to get the desired color that I want really building it up. And then going in with this Claire's palette. I know every time I pull out a Claire's palette, I'm sure everybody cringes, but some of the colors are good. I'm taking this darker green and this lighter green. And kind of self-explanatory here, the darker green is gonna go in the outer corner and the lighter green is gonna go more in the inner. Now I'm just going to be taking the color Dagger on a small crease brush from Revlon and I don't know why it looked really blue in that shot but it's just a nice gray color and I really put a lot on there which is kind of like what a lot of people don't like doing you kind of want to build the color up as you go but I put a lot on and then decided to blend it out and I just blended it out with a big fluffy crease brush from BH Cosmetics I believe And then after that, I'm just going to be building up that hot green from NYX again all over the lid just to make it as pigmented as I possibly can. So here I'm just going over and blending that, kind of just being a perfectionist. And then this is kind of weird, but what I'm doing is I'm going in the outer corner of my eye and really packing on a lot of that green. We don't want that darker gray color in our outer V. We just want it to be in the crease and then have the green all over the lid. So there's kind of that gap there. And then going in again with 13, just going over the brow bone. Now taking this stuff called Glitter Max. I literally just got it like in a kit from Party City with a bunch of paint and stuff. I just put it on the back of my hand and took a flat shader brush to pat it all over my eyelid. And you'll see why in a second this was kind of difficult for me because you cannot look up. You have to keep looking down until it fully dries because you don't want to get any of that glitter in your crease or in places it's not supposed to be. And this is why. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, this glitter stings my eyes a little bit. It's literally from Party City. It says it's for the face. But just be careful when applying glitter around your eyes to make sure you don't get it inside of it because I think that's what happened. But as it's drying, it is getting a little better. So I'm going to take off the tape and do my foundation and concealer routine and my brows and then I'll come back when I finish everything up. So, as usual, I did my eyeliner off camera because I can never get it in the frame, but I just used the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in the color Blackest Black and just did a thin straight line across my eyelid and then a thin line underneath my lash line. And I'm just taking a flat shader brush from Eco Tools here and smudging that out and then cleaning it up. 
also off camera, I put on my lashes. I just used my favorite Demi Wispies with Kiss Lash Glue. And then I'm going to be taking Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers and using my Real Techniques. I believe it's called the Expert Face Brush, not like a contouring brush. And I'm just going to be contouring my cheekbones, um, around my forehead, and my jawline. Now I'm taking my Dream Bouncy Blush from Maybelline. This is in the color Plum Wine. I love it. It's like a cream blush, so I use a stippling brush for it, and I love it. And then I'm going to be taking the Gleam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and taking the color Crushed Pearl and a big fluffy fan brush from Eco Tools and applying that to the high points of my face to add a little bit of a highlight. And for mascara, I'm using the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara um, to just get my real lashes to stick to my fake ones. Here I'm just adding a little bit more of that light green sparkly color to the inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone just to brighten it up. Now I'm going to be taking the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Ruby and I'm going to be lining my lips, prepping them for our red lipstick that we are going to use because what's a holiday look without a red lip, am I right? Okay, so this is the Revlon lipstick in the color Certainly Red, and it is my all-time favorite red lipstick. It's not too orangey, it's not too pinky, it's just a perfect red. It's not too matte, but it's not too glossy. I'm just obsessed with it, as you can see. And then the last step is to take our City Color All Set Setting Spray and set our faces. But I'm a under the mistletoe with you, with you. All right guys, so this is my finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming this look. I got so many compliments on it last year. I just knew that I wanted to film a tutorial on it. So I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and comment what you thought or any requests down below. And subscribe to my channel to see more videos. I definitely have some more holiday videos coming out soon. So yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. And we're Happy New Year! Happy, Happy Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa! Happy Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa! <laughs> no, that's not it. Happy holidays to all who celebrate whatever you celebrate. I hope that you guys enjoy this time with friends and family. And stay safe. Stay safe. Stay glam. Stay fabu. Fabu. And let's get ready for 2017. Oh, oh my god! I all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Now taking the naked... Did you wear that to school? Mm-hmm. Get off my bed. Oh, I'll go chill. Hello? Hi. I don't have time for this. All right, guys. Thank you. What the hell?